In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it when your Amazon Fire TV stick is freezing. So the first thing you want to do if it's frozen is to actually just turn your TV off and unplug your Fire Stick from the wall for about 5 to 10 seconds. This is known as a power cycle and it can fix your freezing issue currently. However, when it comes to prevention, I'm going to show you a few things we can do. So once you manage to get to the home screen, we're now going to navigate to the settings. And once we're in settings, the first thing I recommend you do is go to applications. And from here, we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to manage installed apps. Now, when it comes to your Amazon Fire TV freezing, this could be due to it having too much storage on it, as well as clearing the cache just seems to make it run better. I feel like this software easily gets overburdened and it just stops working, hence the freezing. Now to clear cache on apps, all you need to do is press the rewind button on the app selected, and then you just press the select button to confirm clearing the cache. Now I recommend you do this once in a while, especially if your Amazon Fire Stick is prone to freezing, this could certainly help. As well as uninstalling applications, which you just wanna press the play pause button if you're not using it, might as well get rid of it and free yourself up some space. Now, another thing I recommend you turn on is automatic offload. This is going to essentially get rid of unused apps when the Fire TV is low on storage. And of course you can reinstall stuff later. Now, the next thing I recommend you do is go back to the settings here. And now we're going to be going to my Fire TV. Next, we're going to scroll up, you'd be at about already, but press the select button, then we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and you wanna check for updates and ensure that your Fire TV stick is running the latest operating software. So if you're running the current version, great. This can fix a lot of issues, whether it be being slow or freezing, loading times, etc. Now we're going to go back and if you're still having problems at this point, you notice it's incredibly slow, is resetting to factory defaults. Now do bear in mind, this is going to delete all your personal data and downloads, and you are going to have to sign back in. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.